On this evening's expert debate, we welcome two people with very different views about security. Mark Kelly, a well-known journalist and author, and Joyce Talbot, a member of the European Parliament. They're going to discuss whether there should be a new single identity card for all citizens of the European Union. But first, what is this new identity card and why has it caused so much controversy? Here's a report from Jeremy Walker. The basic concept of identity cards is nothing new. We are all familiar with cards which allow us to use a library, cards which prove that we can legally drive a car, cards which allow us to buy things on credit without using cash. But no one forces you to carry a library card, a driving license, a credit card. It's all down to the free choice of the individual, unlike the proposed new ID card. In the modern world, the world of international crime and international terrorism, governments are becoming increasingly nervous. And with European Union citizens now free to move throughout Europe, able to travel, live and work freely in any member state, the people responsible for keeping us safe are calling for new methods of checking who exactly is where. In many countries, the identity card seems an idea whose time has come. It may also be an idea whose technology has come. Identity cards which use a simple photograph can be easily made by anyone. And cards which include a fingerprint have also been tried without success. But a new technology has recently become available, based on computer analysis of the structure of the face. Faces, unlike fingerprints, can be checked without the person knowing anything about it. And the results can be matched against a huge database of faces. Current technology means that, in less than a second, any one face can be compared with 100,000 of the faces already stored in the computer. What's more, the analysis is based on the fundamental structure of the face. It won't be deceived by a false beard or makeup. But do we really want to live in a world in which everything depends on an ID card? No health care without a card? No education for your children unless they all have cards? No travel unless your government knows all about it? And there's a deeper question about democratic rights. Is it democratic to refuse a vote to people who refuse a card? Even if ID cards would make us more secure, to some people the cure seems worse than the disease. <laughs> 